Today's vlog can only be defined by one word, Caddy Wampus. Caddy Wampus? Yes. We are at Christina's for dinner. Before we go to a little store tonight, she made us dinner. There is red pepper pasta and lobster ravioli, and I brought over my classic salad. Five. Yeah, cheesy high fives. All right, we're packed up. It was a quick hour and a half visit. We gotta go to Ikea to pick up some things. <laughs> We've been here before, but we came here in high school just to walk around. <laughs> Alrighty, we got our curtains to cover the other two windows, as well as white curtains to go behind. We're totally copying the Peaches family, getting the smaller version of their TV stand. I didn't realize we were getting all these things, everybody. And you didn't? I'm either gonna end up getting back to work tonight or putting these together. I'm doing one or the other because I didn't have the best work day. And no. I'm just like not in good spirits. And I feel like I need to get back to work and achieve some things work-wise or build these things for our home. That'll make you feel so good. Right, right. But I'm excited. Yeah. I'm a little stressed because we're getting rid of storage things for things that are really nice but not mm -hmm. as much storage. Yeah. We got a lot of tchotchkes. Yeah, and I ordered a new coffee table today. I'll put up a picture of it here. Um, this little baby is doing so sweet. Um, awake or asleep? Oh, 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 gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Alrighty, here is our haul. We unexpectedly got a little table and chair set for outside new frames for the shelves we got all the pieces i have to go get the car and bring it around which is actually the easier way to do this but the pieces are small enough between the two carts that we were just going to roll the carts up but this ikea like doesn't let you roll the carts out from furniture pickup like there's like it's all like gated in kind of a thing so i'm at the car ready i'll just swing it around we'll load it all up and begin the trek home Step one achieved. It's all in the entryway of our apartment. Then we're gonna bring Eve out. Then we're gonna go park the car somewhere and then we'll bring all this up. Successful trip. Remember when we moved in and I said one of the greatest things I like is the battle to find a parking spot? Well, Chicago almost defeated Eve and myself. We were in that car for I think like 25 minutes. We went down up and down, up and down every street from Wrigley down almost took a scene in Grant's apartment all the way over to the lake everywhere there's not a single spot and finally I found one so it's so far with this girl's little injured leg I'm, I'm holding her as we walk after a few blocks What is this? I feel like every day we go, one day we get a step closer to being organized, and the next day, we, ah! one day we get another little bit of chaos before the it gets better. I come in from bringing all the stuff in from Ikea, ah! and I see Sarah's been hard at work laying out where these are gonna go, which has to get done. You need to chill. This is a salad bowl that's empty, okay? Can't have any, it's all gone. But I like, the way it's looking. All right, first up tonight, it's gonna be our new coat rack shoe storage thingamagai. Is it a proper terminology? Yes, my mom called it a shoe tree, or a hall tree. 
Something tree. Something tree? Something tree, because I called it a jobby. A jobby? <laughs> a shoe jobby? Yeah. Also, Sarah's trying to MacGyver our existing frames into working all the things that we want to... It's not working out? That's okay. We'll get frames. I want them to... Look nice. Yes. Also, how do you like the way this is coming along? With the lighting. We moved that lamp that used to be in James's room over there. The intent is that eventually we'll be able to keep this light off, like the overhead light. And we'll have that light. This Billy has a light. We'll have another Billy here with a light. And then this light too. So we'll have like... Overhead, entire room lit up. Or like coziness while we're watching movies and stuff. How is this little girl's foot doing? I don't, I picked her up after about a block and a half, two blocks of walking because she was way too rambunctious. But she was walking fine. How's it going over there? Done. Done? First piece. Gorgeous. I'm getting photo situated for our new photo wall that's going behind our bed. Do you like it? <laughs> this is going to be great. I still have to anchor it to the wall. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do that tonight because that wall is a shared wall. Welcome to Peter Ramble's Peter Bruckhart Production Podcast. Anybody? What? Are you starting a podcast? Anybody remember my podcasts? I'll do a podcast one day. With all my time. I'm gonna go put it against the wall and see how it looks. Fingers crossed, it doesn't look terrible. Alright, second end time is the corn sh joke, joke, joke. Corn show. Corn show. Cornish hens. Cornish pasties. Um, this is a rolling cart that's gonna have our record player and it's gonna go in our kitchen near like, or the dining room. But it's got wheels so we can like roll it wherever we want. But it's got a little spot for those, it's got a spot for that because the TV stand's gonna be smaller. New girl for the win. We got portable music. <laughs> what? I'm just like imagine you walking around town with that. Wait, check out my 45s. <laughs> Third thing, the Fajabo. New TV stand. These were the only things tonight. Not on the list. Still got to put together the table. But these were 15 bucks each. I think the table was like, hold on, I hear my baby. We have a very small outdoor space. Like I wouldn't even consider it a back porch. It's just like. It's not, it's, in a, it's like a fire escape. It's like a space. It's probably the one thing that this apartment didn't have that we wanted. That like we really were prioritizing. However, this small little space can fit that small little table and chairs and we can move it in and out when it gets nice. So we can have our own little space um, and make it work. And so I'm super, <laughs> I'm super excited about it because I've been eyeing like a bistro chair set for a long time. I, we did have one at our first apartment in Florida, but this one just fits our style, our, our, our new style much more. Hmm. hmm. Peter got that for me as a birthday gift. And I still do love it. Well, it's in the garbage now. I know. But I just love it in a different place, in a different house that I imagined. You love it in like a garbage sense. I love it in a garden sense. Garbage. Not a garbage sense. Um, but this new one is perfect for um, this place. The fall de croissant is complete and it's 1 10 in the morning. I had no idea it was that late, but I'm stubborn and I'm not going to go to bed until it goes right there. Look at this. I got the PlayStation, the Nintendo Switch, and all of our DVDs in that bad boy. That's going to go out and then we're going to get another one of these, the exact same where that is now. Envision it. If only it would come back in stock. Right, literally, it's like when we were at Ikea today, it was just like, this item is oversold. And then Sarah put the picture earlier of what's going to replace this. It's just going to feel so open with, like this stuff is very shallow. And this is going to get circular so it'll fit like 
cozier into the couch. And then this is all like play area and amazing. I had a realization coming back from the dumpster that one, our chair is still at the dumpster, which I was kind of upset about because I'm like, someone should just nab that chair. But now that it's been out there 24 hours, like, I don't think people who see those dumpsters are gonna be like, that's been out there for a few days, it's gross. But I had a realization that three decent sized pieces of furniture that we lugged into that, that U-Haul, drove from Florida, lugged into this apartment, we are getting rid of in the first month that we're here. With between This coffee table is one of the heaviest pieces of furniture we have. That TV stand's one of the bigger, heavier pieces. Um, and that chair, too. Right, and we didn't know the style and everything. But hey, that's life. A lot of those pieces we've had since we got married, and they weren't acquired in a way that we were going to have them forever. So we got five years of amazing use out of it. Now it's time for us to unreal, unresponsibly eat a bunch of ice cream at 1.30 in the morning. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.